Hello there Fall Guys fans, I am Harold Bean and this is part 2 of the Idle Game series, a group of challenges with players competing across multiple game modes. Today it is the Duos Challenge in the Idle Games, a team of two players competing to win the show and the title. Let's join Star Witness at the starting line where Party Promenade is just underway. And they're off heading through that first pipe, heading on up. We're going to get shot up into the air, going to aim for one of the side pipes, gets bounced off the side, across the lip of it, and then through the middle pipe. Start when it bounces, flops a bit, but makes his way across the, uh, the teeter-totters there in the middle. Sort of mid-pack right now in the top 10 positions, managing to avoid the water balloons as he runs right up the middle. He'll aim for the left side and zip on down, bouncing on through, making it quickly through this middle section, and then back up the pipe. He'll get shot through towards the, uh, the trapeze section and leap up onto the platform to try to make contact. He leaps and grabs and is among the first on the trapeze. Over to the bouncer and up the ramp and towards the next trapeze, leaps and grabs it, and then jumps again and is through the pipe. Now racing for first place, this pipe will shoot them into the final stretch, he's up and he manages to, mm, he slips off the trapeze, manages to stay on his feet, is through the middle pipe and it gets first place, scoring 59 points for his team. Into the next round, this is Ski Fall. Players will slide down the ramp, jump through the hole, scoring points. It is one point for a bronze ring, two points for a silver ring, and five points for the gold ring. Together they'll try to score 30 points. Here we go. Star Witness sliding down the ramp, he'll go for the leap, he bounces off the top of the ring, he'll get sent back to the start, not a great start for Star Witness, he'll try once again going for that silver ring, he leaps through and scores two points, his teammate also picking up two points at the same time. Star Witness eyeballing that gold ring but goes for the bronze instead and picks up a single point, heads to the middle, jumps on through, picks up an additional five points, now at ten after the first clean run. Star Witness jumping through once again, picking up another bronze ring. Team score is now at 12. He gets a gold ring, and they're now at 17 points. Leaps through once again, another 5 points across the middle. They're making great time here, already at 23 of their team's required 30 points. Another gold ring, that'll do it. Star Witness picking up a bunch of points for his team, competing very well as uh, they finish near the top of the field. And now into round three, they have picked up Hoopsie Legends. Once again, as a team, they'll have to compete to score points to make it through to the next round. As a team, they will need to score 12 points in total. And here we go. Star Witness seeing a free ring right away, jumps around the side, gets to the corner and leaps an early one point. His teammate doing the same, they're already up at two points on the board. Star Witness seeing another ring, he'll leap through that one easily now at three points for the team. Goes up the ramp, jumps up back to the middle. He's looking for another ring to score some points. Sees a few options, but getting snapped up quickly by the other competing beans. Sees one on the side, leaps through that. They're now at four points. Up the middle, leap onto the drawbridge. He'll look for a ring that appeals to him. Sees one on the side, but is a little bit late, so he'll spin back around looking for another. Off to the side, he sees a gold ring behind him, he's going to go for it, bounces off another player as they collide in mid-air, denied the five points for the ring with that collision. <laughs> sees a single point though and jumps for that, they're now at five points in total. Star Witness sees a ring that he likes, but then a gold one appears and he leaps through that, picking up five big points for his team, they now only need two more to qualify into the next round. Fails on the first attempt to get onto that top platform, but tries again, this time making his way up. Again, just two more points needed. A bunch of rings around, he sees one on the side, he leaps for that, now at 11 points. Back on that top platform once again, trying to scramble up to, to make contact here. Looking for one more ring, sees a gold ring, decides to not go for that one, looking for one more point. A single ring appears in front of him, he leaps for it, and that's good enough for third place. And here we are into the final round. It is Hexaring that they've drawn as the final here. The players will be dropped onto this ring. Those hexes will disappear as they step on each one. It is three layers deep and eventually there'll be nowhere left to stand. Last teammate standing gets the prize. So if either of these two teammates manages to be the last one standing, they will win the duos portion of the idle games. Star Witness clearing out some red tiles here, making a, a huge chasm for players to jump across. We'll see if that factors in as the ring comes back around. Now choosing to run on some of the blue tiles as well. 
Notice his teammate there also uh, hopping back and forth on those tiles. Great to see both of them still in the competition. Star Witness sliding a bit off the side, noticing that he manages to right himself. It is easy to lose track of where you are and slip off the backside of this giant ring. Trying to chew up as many tiles as possible, make as many gaps as he can for players to slip through. As this ring comes back around, the, uh, the ring itself would be more challenging as there'll be less places to jump. One competitor already out, you'll start to see them drop off fairly quickly here as the ring comes around for its second pass. Already now three, three players out, four now players out. You can see the spaces are getting much more difficult to jump across. Start is finding some blue tiles and some yellow tiles to make his way across here. Now five players out, more than half the field eliminated. Slipping once again, but managing to right himself. Six players eliminated, very few spaces left to jump. Star Witness leaping across, finding his way where he can. Plotting the best course he can as quickly as he can. Now only three players remain, seven eliminated out of the field. Star Witness hanging in there. Running across those red tiles and those yellow tiles back and forth. Not many places left to go, looking for it, he leaps across there, he's completely out of tiles, he leaps there, jumps once more out of desperation, and manages to hang on for the victory. Star Witness has done it, winning the Duos show here at the Idol Games. I am Harold Bean, thank you so much for watching, be sure to click the like button and subscribe as well for future content. Of course we have daily shorts on this channel, you can catch those twice a day every day right here on the Fall Guys Flips channel, and we have videos just like this one coming out all the time as well, so be sure to subscribe for future content. Thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you all next time, till then.